Jimmy Fallon welcomes Idris Elba, NBC Tonight. Any ideas? Why don't crash a plane and let a passenger survive? That's why you're here. Why kidnap someone who couldn't afford the ransom? Poison. Why get fancy with polonium when you can shoot the target in the head? I hear people are irrational. People do inexplicable things. Why? Science. So this is just a theory. Gravity was just a theory at one point. The Irrational, next Monday on NBC and streaming on Peacock. NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. And that breaking news is from Irwindale, where a chase ended in a crash and then a standoff. This one started around 845 in Bell Gardens after police tried to pull over a stolen vehicle. The driver took off, then led them on a chase northbound up the 605 freeway. That chase eventually ended when the driver crashed up an embankment there. He stayed in the car for a while, then the CHP got involved, shut down the freeway. Eventually, a canine was brought in to get him out. After one of the longest strikes in history, the WGA and Hollywood Studios have tentatively agreed to a deal. So what happens next? NBC4's Robert Kavasi has been following this story really since the very beginning. He is live outside WGA headquarters with more for us tonight. Robert? And Colleen, here is what we understand will happen next. We're outside of WGA headquarters here on the West Coast, and the boards east and west are expected to meet tomorrow to approve this agreement and then send it on to its 11,500 plus membership for ratification. Meantime, WGA members are asked to stand in solidarity and join on the picket lines with members of the Screen Actors Guild Union as actors are now waiting in the wings. Late night and daytime talk shows could be the first back on the air. Now that the WGA has agreed to a tentative three-year deal with the AMPTP, which represents streamers and studios, including NBC Universal's parent company, Comcast. A strike stretching nearly five months, now reaching its final act. This is not about people in, you know, drinking tropical drinks, driving Jaguars. We're talking about the middle class of our union, and we're just trying to keep our head above water. The deal still private. The WGA telling members, though we are eager to share the details of what has been achieved with you, we cannot do that until the last I is dotted. But I am hearing from people who have seen the, what the deal is and people who have heard what the deal is. They're very happy. It's believed writers will earn higher reactors. The two you WGA deal glad that one loss log jam is going to be broken. Come until scripted shows this fall. Hollywood is already pushing an impossible Dune and Gladiator. Is that why you are here? But with the apparent end of one strike, Hollywood is now one step closer to being back in action. And when it comes to the Actors Union, as of tonight, SAG-AFTRA is not just on strike against the film and television industry, announcing that its membership has voted overwhelmingly 98% to authorize a strike against the video gaming industry as well. Colleen? Robert, what's the timeline here? Any idea when SAG-AFTRA will go back to the bargaining table? No idea as of yet, but in a strongly worded statement, when SAG congratulated its sister union, the WGA, on coming to terms with this agreement, SAG-AFTRA said they are ready to meet with the AMPTP, the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, when they are ready to engage in their proposals 